So basically, they're coercing you into increasing their reverend power, increasing their legitimate power, a new world order, if you will. So that increases their legitimate power, expanding their power across every nation using, you know, terrorism and things like that, fitting into it in some instances in order to create the need for a more interconnected, a more thoroughly defined world government, globalist government. And so also I want to touch on, you know, the people in charge of social controls. They're part of everything that's going on. They see it to a certain extent. Sometimes they see it to a great extent. And they will go above and beyond the call of duty to establish themselves as somebody who's doing their job, somebody who's handling their their position of social control. They're looking for people who deviate the, from the norms, who stray from the norms, the social norms who are established by, you guessed it, the status quo, the top 1%. So you have psychiatrists to go above and beyond the call of duty. You have police officers who go above and beyond the call of duty. You have um, teachers, uh, judges, um, et cetera, et cetera. You know, they want to be firmly establish themselves as a powerful social control, as a powerful human resource of social control and, and the social engineers and the social controllers. So I believe it was Lofner, he said the controllers. He wasn't far off, you know. There's people who engineer something and they want to see their their project um come into fruition and and do well and in freemasonry they talk about the grand architect and then there's there's people high up who masons high up who people respect who are in charge of you know overseeing the grand architect's um design they're masons they're the ones who actually put it to work thank you